Another day in Port-au-Prince, a lull in the fighting and the cars are back on the streets. Another day and another body on the side of the road. It's becoming normal here. This man was shot, his family covered him and left. Burials are expensive. Another street, two more bodies, a man and a woman shot as they rode a motorcycle. Nobody knows why any of these murders are happening. We see the dead every day. This city is burning and there seems to be no end, no solution, perhaps even no hope. Neighbourhood after neighbourhood is barricaded off. Some are gang territories, some are communities trying to protect themselves. Absolutely nowhere feels safe. Through the barricades, we were given permission to enter a place called Salino. This community of about 10,000 people has been attacked by two separate gangs for a year. They want to take it over. At least 80% of Port-au-Prince has fallen to the gangs, but not here. That's because Salino is protected by armed vigilantes and off-duty policemen who live here and fight together. Every day, this is a struggle to survive. They are surrounded. The armed defenders of Salino, the men who do the fighting, did not want to be identified. Guided by a policeman, we were taken to the various barricades that protect Salino. On the other side is gang territory. It really is that close. So one gang here, barbecue here, and another one here? Or? Uh, That's all barbecue. barbecue. Uh -huh. Came here, Bele. Uh -huh. Bele, after Bele, there's Cache de Fe. Cache de Fe, and Iso, Village de Dieu. All gangs, all, all gangs. gangs yeah. But not here. Not. This is police. The front lines are deserted. Nobody lives here now. It really is a battlefield. Homes burnt out by the gangs have been taken back, but they're uninhabitable. This place is a in a constant battle with gangs who want to take control of it. If they do, if the vigilantes and the police fail to keep a hold of it, then pretty much the whole of Port-au-Prince will belong to the gangs. The atmosphere is really different to other places. It's quiet, but that's because obviously the vigilantes are here. We've just seen uh, police patrolling, but it is a constant gun battles here, and they're constantly having to keep guard of their property. Inside, the community looks pretty much like anywhere else in Port-au-Prince. But keeping it like this isn't easy. The regular attacks kill men on both sides. It's a turf war and the vigilantes are holding on. They believe they will win, or rather, they hope they will. It's us citizens along with the police officers who are controlling this area. Without them, we wouldn't have what you see here in Salino. And we continue to fight tooth and nail, night and day, to protect the area. When the roads of Port-au-Prince go quiet, you know it's dangerous. This is the main road to the international airport. It's the only place guarded by the military. But it's completely closed. The overwhelming sense you get is of a capital city not only cut off from the rest of the country, but cut off from the rest of the world. It's a siege from within, and everyone is a prisoner.